Lab 19 will challenge you to create a test bench for a circuit that was introduced in Chapter 9 of our book. Now, the only wrinkle in this particular lab is to use a clock pulse, a positive edge of a clock pulse, instead of a combinational circuit like we've been using in previous labs. Now, the Lab 19 write-up, I do in fact show you the, uh, the up-down counter that we developed in Chapter 9. There's really nothing exciting about this counter. In fact, you can go back to Chapter 9 and read all about it if you wish. And then the challenge is for you to create a test bench that tests this counter. It should count up from 0 to 1111, and then reverse and count back down from 1111 to 0. Your test bench should actually go through three complete cycles from 0 to 1 to 0. Now I do have an example test bench here that, that I can demonstrate for you. I am looking at my iVerilog source file and you'll see that I've got the counters already there. So let me compile these. iVerilog lab19.counter underscore up underscore down dot v lab 19.cntr up down dot tb dot v and it compiled properly vvpa dot out and let me scroll up a little bit and you'll see we do count from one up to one 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 and then we start counting down back to zero and then we count back up now, I've only gone through one cycle and a part of a second one, but of course it's pretty easy then to do this and repeat it three times. That's the challenge for Lab 19. Good luck with your lab. Please let me know. If you have any problems, I'll be glad to help. I'll be seeing you online.